In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. So first and foremost, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. Then we are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush, right click and change the roundness to normal. Increase the opacity to 100. Make the brush bigger by the right bracket key. Then we copy the second hex code. So we are going to paste our hex code here. Since we have it over here, we just make the brush bigger by the right bracket key and click once. Reduce the opacity. We are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. Set foreground to white. And we are also going to click once. Opacity is still at 100. Our foreground is white. And we click once. We are going to change the blend mode to overlay. Reduce the opacity. All right, we can grab our resources now. So first and foremost, let's copy this texture right here. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Right click and convert to smart object, Control T to transform. So we scale it up just to cover the entire area. Then click OK or click the check mark to confirm. So you are going to change the blend mode to overlay. And reduce the opacity way down so we have it set to 10. Now we are going to apply an exposure adjustment layer. With a max selected, we are going to grab a soft charm brush, increase the opacity. Opacity is still at 100. We set foreground to black. We are going to make a few clicks. This is before and after. So this time around we can copy the table. Right click and convert to smart object. Control T to transform. Then we are just going to adjust this. So let's grab the next item. Convert to smart objects. So Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Then we are just going to drop this. So our next item, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl A, then we select and then horizontal to have everything. Ctrl D to deselect. select. All right, now we have now we have everything in place. So we are going to apply exposure adjustment layer.
So with the table selected, I'm going to apply an exposure adjustment layer. We clip it onto the layer so the effects apply only to the layer. Then with the mod selected control I to invert, we grab a soft chain brush. Make the brush smaller. You right click and change the roundness to normal. To reduce the opacity, set foreground to white. Let's click and change the roundness just a bit. Then we are just going to paint some shadows. So with the table layer selected again, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer. So we clip already clipped onto the layer. Now we have the napkin here. We are trying to match the color of this. So we go for here and saturation. We clip it onto the layer, then we pick the color, color picker. Then we try to match the color. We are trying to match the color once we have it. Oh. So we are trying to mine this color right full. So with the layer selected, I'm going to create an exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer with a mask selected control i to invert we grab a soft turn brush i still can change the roundness we are going to increase the opacity a bit let's reduce it that's way too much we are going to paint some shadows so we are just painting some shadows on the napkin We are going to, once we select this layer, we are creating an exposure adjustment layer and clip it onto the layer. So the effect apply only to the layer with the mark selected. Control I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush. Our phone guys as well, so we are going to be painting some shadows. So we apply another exposure adjustment layer. Control I to invert. And we are just going to paint again. So we zoom in and paint some more shadows. So we are going to create an exposure adjustment for this one as well. Clip it onto the layer. With the mark selected, Control I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush, and then we paint. For now, we are going to apply exposure adjustment layer onto this as well. So the same method. With the mark selector, control I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush, and then we paint some shadows.
with the mark selector control I can just grab a soft time brush and we are just going to paint some shadows. Alright, now we are going to create highlights. So, with the same layer selected, we create an exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer. Then we take the sliders for highlight, right click on the layer, and go for blending options. So, we are just going to move this slider a bit. We hold Alt and break the handles. Then we have it blending like that, then we click OK. With the mark selected, Control I to it. We grab a soft turn brush. Foreground is set to white, and we are going to paint. You reduce the opacity. This is before and after. So now we need some contrast shadows. So with the layer selected, we create the layer bin above it. Right click and change rounders to normal. Increase the opacity. So opacity is set at 100. Go for bright settings and we are going to change the roundness. So 9 is okay. We set foreground to black. We make the brass smaller by the left bracket key. And we are just going to press once. We create another layer. So we are separating all the shadow layers. We create another layer and click once. We create another one and we also click once again. We are going to reduce the opacity for all these shadows. Somewhere around 15. Alright, now we have everything in place. So we go for the particles now. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl T, then we scale it up to cover the whole in the entire area. Then we change the blend mode to screen. With the layer selected, we are going to apply a year saturation adjustment. Check colorize. And we are just going to play with all this over here. Okay, so with the layer selected, you create a max control item, and then everything is gone. You grab a soft arm brush, and we are just going to paint some back. So we reduce the opacity so that we don't get an every, exactly everything back. So with the layer selected, we are going to paint some, some back. Once you have everything in place, Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. Right click and convert to smart object. Then we go for camera roll. So photo, camera roll, photo. And we are just going to play with everything over here. Once this is OK, then we just continue. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.